Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. The three methods I use to determine what is healthy and what is not. There are an endless amount of products and ingredients and nutraceuticals coming to the market all the time. Some of them are new. Uh, you know, they're newly discovered. There's new extractions methods um, all the time going on out there. There's always something, the latest thing, new research. And so what do you, you got to really sift through a lot of things and decide, hey, is this really a, is this a great product? I mean, is this really any good for you or is this really going to do anything for anybody? So here are the three criteria that I use. Well, first of all, I study it and I study it a lot and I do that by I look at YouTube videos, I look at blogs and then I start looking at the research. I've got all sorts of different kinds of websites I go to uh, to see about the efficacy of certain uh, ingredients and whether they're being used in, uh, you know, mainstream. Are they, are they out in the mainstream already? Are they being sold, uh, you know, on, on shop sites, this kind of stuff? Or is this something that hasn't even hit the market yet? So the first thing I do is a lot of research. And once I decide, hey, this looks pretty interesting, I want to go back to the actual studies to see, you know, what this stuff has done and you know how the, what you know what kind of results you've gotten from a particular product for instance you know i recently started selling natokinase and natokinase is an enzyme quite an amazing thing um, and it does all sorts of things in the bible it can remove fiber but it's been studied and it's shown to re reduce blood pressure so that that's you know i look at that and i think wow okay that that reduces and i got a study here to back that up so i know this is a pretty pretty good product so that's that's number one i study it intensely and decide whether i even want to touch this stuff or not well number two is just common sense does, does it sort of pass the smell test in other words uh is this practical i mean does this make sense to you on a common sense level i mean i don't want to get uh, into studies and all this kind of stuff and then pretty soon you're trying to convince uh, somebody of something that you know really doesn't make any sense but you've got a study to back it up for instance you know I went out and started selling the phycocyanin and recently I have tablets and powder well it's, you know it's great stuff you know, I said for years why do you want to take this I looked at it very carefully uh, it's an amazing ingredient and I found some really great organic ones so uh, that's uh, you know that's how I decided to pick up this apple cider vinegar well I've been taking this for years and years myself but why do you want to get it well it's the acetic acid so I studied it a lot and I found wow it's acetic acid in here that really does such a great job so it makes sense I mean again that's why I take it so common sense and practicality and would this really help somebody that's number two and number three is I test it myself that's a big thing and that's really the biggest thing Everything I sell and everything I do at the Watershed Wellness Center is really my lifestyle. It's, it's not just, you know, hey, I got this over here and this could help you. It's um, something that I, I take or I've taken or, I'm, you know, I've taken in the past, but um, I, I take everything that I sell. I, I got into magnesium threonate, for instance, mag team. It took me six months to try it out and decide whether this was any good, whether it worked, whether it was doing anything. I liked it. I liked what it was doing for me. It changed my sleep patterns. It made me sleep better. I started selling it. Uh, chlorella, this is how I ended up with chlorella oh, well over 25 years ago now. Um, I, I, somebody walked in and introduced me first to spirulina. I started taking it. I said, wow, this is fantastic. I feel great. That's how I started selling chlorella. That, and, and that's how I started taking it. And, and after I took it and I felt great, then I started selling it. Same with chlorella. I researched it. I started taking that. I felt fantastic. This is why I moved to the raw food diet. It's not an ingredient. It's not a product. It's not anything you can package and sell. But when I eat raw fruits and vegetables all the time, I feel absolutely fantastic. When I get away from that and I stop eating raw fruits and vegetables, I feel lousy. So oh, I only eat raw fruits and vegetables. So everything is Bob tested, the whole thing. Dr. Bob tests everything. It's all Bob tested. Dr. Bob tested and Dr. Bob approved. I mean, that's the way we always do here. And I don't let people come in to work for me and bring in junk food. They can't do that. You can't bring in soft drinks, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. You can't bring in burgers um, from fast food joints. You can't do any of that stuff because that's not Bob approved. So I'm, I'm not a, a totalitarian around here. They can pretty much eat what they want. They just can't eat junk. And that's because it's not Bob approved.
So what's Bob approved? All my products because I use them, I take it myself, and I'm the ultimate guinea pig. Um, I've actually taken some herbs in the past and taken way too much of them. And, uh, you know, I really got, really got sick. Um, so, you know, there's, there's an old Chinese guy. He, he would test everything on himself. And anyway, he, uh, he ended up killing himself some herbs because he was the guinea pig. So I'm kind of the guinea pig, too. In fact, I am the guinea pig. So anyway, um, that's what I do. That's how I decide what's healthy for me. And you can be assured that everything you buy here at the Watershed Wellness Center is not only Dr. Bob approved, it's Dr. Bob consumed. And so if, if I take it and I like it, it makes the list. And that's how I decide what products we're going to sell here at the Watershed Wellness Center. It's not random. <laughs> it is, it's pretty well thought out. And, um, and I can back up everything I promote and everything I do and everything I say with not only documentation, but with how it makes me feel. And then I know how you should take it if you want to feel great. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. I get a lot of questions like that, how you decide what you're going to you know, sell, what you're not going to sell, this kind of stuff. That's how I do it. Dr. Bob, see you next time.